November, Kentucky voters are not just picking the presidential candidate, but they're also making key choices on certain ballot questions like whether or not public funding can be used to support private schools. Amendment 2 or the school choice amendment could lead to changes in the Kentucky Constitution to allow that. Wave News reporter Brandon Spencer looked into Amendment 2 and shares what we need to know. On the ballot this year, Kentuckians will see the prompt for Amendment 2 and will be offered the option to say yes or no. But a lot of people feel that it's not that simple. Proponents feel it will give students more options for schooling, while those that oppose it feel the measure diminishes public schools. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide. Come November, Kentuckians are going to have a lot of big decisions to make, one of which being about Amendment 2. In plain terms, the measure would give parents choice in education opportunities for their children by allowing the General Assembly to use public money to support for education costs for K-12 students outside of public schools. At an event in Louisville Monday, Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman said it's not a good move for all students. We believe that every child deserves access to a high quality edu education, not just the kids whose parents can figure out how to navigate a voucher system, not just the kids without special needs, and not just the kids who aren't on free and reduced lunch. Lieutenant Governor Coleman says she also feels that if passed, this amendment could lead to job cuts for school support staff. The superintendent of Catholic schools for the Archdiocese of Louisville believes voting yes on Amendment 2 will put students first. There are lots of opportunities within our system to find a good fit, and for me that's, that's just a critical uh, piece of this legislation is to hope that our parents will have a choice as to where their children can really grow and learn. Proponents feel the amendment will give families more options for schooling. Opponents feel it will destroy the Kentucky public system. But both say the decision will mold our future generations. All of us want what's best for our students and for our children. And if we work together and find those solutions to that, I think that our community can grow and be a better community for tomorrow. So whether it's access, academics, or athletics, simply put, we have to defeat Amendment 2 because Kentucky's public schools that serve 90% of our students deserve nothing but the very best. Charter schools are legal in Kentucky, but under the current Constitution, they cannot receive state funding. But if folks were to vote yes on this amendment, that would change. Brandon Spencer, Wave News. All right, thank you, Brandon.